All right, it looks like we're ready to get into our game one here. And we're going to see the Joker starting off here against Ashton. I think that is a good call. Um, we did see the Zero Suit Samus do really well against uh, Ned just now. And we saw him play uh, Zero Suit Samus against uh, Ashton earlier. But um, right now we're going to be seeing the Joker come out, which I think is a good way to kind of start this off. A lot of what Young Link likes to get popping. Uh, Joker kind of has an answer with that down B if, if Young Link's just, you know, throwing shit around willy-nilly, you know? Yeah, this is a good pick as well. Also because, you know, w why not try out the Joker? You gave him five whole games with Zero Suit, didn't work out. Why not try a character that can do just as uh, well in the matchup? But, uh, yeah, I'm not sure what that buffer dare dodge was from Ashton there. But if you're sharp, you will take that to the bank all day. Especially because Joker can rack up so much safe percent. In yeah, I mean... Like there's always that chance that maybe Ashton was expecting that Zero Suit Samus. We saw what it just did to Ned and how sharp is coming out this Joker. It's getting that hot start. Maybe Ashton is a little shook right now. And uh, it's kind of looking like it, man. Uh, sharp is just putting on a lot of pressure right now. Good, actually, conversion there from Ashton. But now they're off stage in a dangerous spot. Nice. Catching that neutral get up. Oh, DIing in on Joker's down throw. Now what you want to do, especially off the ledge. Oh. Okay. Oh, what way I'm too deep. Sure sharp there was like, all right, I'm going to SD here, but at least we'll get the stock trade. But I think um, he might have just held downward guns a little too long. Yeah. But doesn't matter. 94%. You still got a really good lead. Uh, you're not in a bad spot at all. Sharp definitely has a way to definitely take this lead back. But if he's not careful, Ashton will absolutely turn this around. Yeah. But this is where, uh, you know, Joker has a huge advantage when Arsene is out. If he wants, oh, he has the oh. Tetra card. He has these super strong hitboxes. Oh my goodness. Beautiful counter. Beautiful. Crazy. That Tetra card is insane. I don't know how this move was untouched in every patch so far. It, it's actually <laughs> ridiculous. He's going to go for no. it again? Oh, yeah. Now oh, he's gonna go he can go for it easily. Come. Oh, oh wow! Mind. That's yeah. unfortunate! Yeah. He ran out of uh, Arsene there, so he couldn't use Touch Card anymore. But it's fine. Oh, yeah, bad like behind the back here. To close this out? Okay, never mind. I could be able to get that. I, can that too? I have no idea. Uh, It can, but there, he just had to use down air since he was already in free fall from his upbeat. It's fine. Huge lead already, and I don't see Sharp... Uh, giving um, Ashton any free openings for combos at this point. Mm -hmm. Even if he does get hit, he's so close to getting our sin too. Yeah, no, like he just he just got to get one good counter read. And I mean, even then he's he's right there. Back are going to be able to send Ashton right back off stage. Ashton is definitely looking lost here. Uh, both of the stocks that Sharp has lost have just been into just unfortunate situations. I mean, who knows what the... Ooh, that's a poor situation. situation. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this game was kind of weird, but you know what? Sharp going to take that game one. Uh, he's going to run with it, too. Ashton, I don't know if they're just a little cold. They just weren't ready for the Joker, if it's a combination of the two. But look at a little suspect right now. Let's see if they can turn this around. Yeah, I love the Joker pick here from Sharp. It's, he has a lot of the similar tools. Um, that Zero Suit could abuse versus Young Link in this matchup, but even better ways to kill when he has Arsene. Here we go, right into game two. Uh, looks like we're just running it back to PS2. Three, oh no, never mind. They did have a stage one. switch. Okay. Uh, I just felt like they got into this next game so quickly, but yeah, we're going to start in Smashville here. I uh, don't know what Ashton's trying to go for here. I feel like this is a uh, potentially even better stage for Joker. Yeah, I think it's great. The platform layout's really good for him. I haven't seen Sharp abuse the drag down of Smash through the platform yet, but I know he's capable of doing that. So it's always a factor on this stage. It's also a little bit smaller too. So he can get in against his character much easier on this stage. Right. So uh, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, the, I'm the same way. I'm wondering what uh, Ashton's thinking going here. Again, uh, DI'ing in on these down throws at the ledge. Sharp not going for the back there, but yeah, they're very questionable from Ashton. Yeah, so like my whole thing is like, 
yeah, maybe it's it's not a good pick. But I'm I'm always trying to try to consider that maybe it's a comfort pick for some people because I know some people just like going to certain stages because they just feel they perform better there. And maybe that's the case here. I don't know. Oh. So he could have, yeah, great recovery, but also uh, Sharp just could have did yet another Tetra Karn to catch that up B. Yeah. It might have sent him into this stage and you could tech, but I, it's it's so much percent as well. I, no reason not to go for it. Oh, okay. can get, forget, uh, can't forget about that lingering hitbox from the down air, especially if it kind of bounces off that shield. Oh my god, beautiful. all of a sudden Ashton has a lead. Yeah, beautiful tech chase with the down air there from Ashton. <laughs> Ashton just helping Sharp back to stage there as he rests him gently on the ledge. <laughs> nice. Great up smash that shoot. Okay. Only taking 18%. Alright. Oh. I think we're getting a little bit of lag here. Yeah. Some desync issues here. Yeah. Hopefully it clears up soon. I think it's from your end. Alright. Okay, no worries. Alright. Yeah, this is uh, the best lead Ashton's had um, in this set so far. And mm -hmm. yeah, this is really good for him, especially since uh, our Sharp is not really close to getting uh, Arsen, and especially not now, after yeah. dropping that stock. All right, it looks like the DC issues have kind of cleared up here on our end, so uh, we're definitely seeing some good, clean gameplay right now. Uh, and right, yeah, Sharp's definitely got to find a way to turn this around. Ashton has definitely answered that game one very well. Um, <laughs> but Sharp's got an up smash to say, I don't care how you feel, go to the blast zone. Yeah, that smash has shield, especially with Arsene. Very, very good for Joker. Okay. At the ledge again. Yeah, it's really rough for uh, Ashton when he's at the ledge versus Arsene, Joker. Not only does he have to worry about so many hitboxes from his safe aerials, if he gets sent off stage, Tetra Karn is like right there. Okay. Still really good opportunity here for Ashton. Wow, great parry. I don't know, man. Sharp is, like, so good at parrying online. <laughs> so impressive to me. He was a very, very good uh, Wi-Fi player before uh, the, the pandemic and all that. And it's just he's just continued to be good. I mean, that's just what it is. He's a he's, uh, top player in Rhode Island, number 10 in New England. But uh, on Wi-Fi Warrior Ranking version 4, he was, like, number 7. So, I mean, he, he's definitely really good. Yeah. He's one of the people that, like, I'm really looking forward to uh, how he performs when offline tournaments come back oh i i want to see him perform offline so bad he's such a talented player oh so close Ooh, the scary situation ashton doing a good job staying alive and they are going to be able to send sharp off stage let's see okay. if sharp can get back yeah but doesn't have arsene anymore and yeah that boomerang to cover the roll in very very good stuff for ashton that was he's uh, He's like very fortunate that uh, Sharp didn't get that Arsen backer off stage when he had no double jump. I, I thought it was curtains right there, but managed to avoid that. Stayed alive long enough to get that clutch kill at the end. So now it's 1-1. One, one. Yeah, and I'm curious what it would even take for uh, Sharp to switch over Joker. I, I think the Joker is doing really well, even though he, he did lose that game there. Yeah, no, um, I felt like Ashton played uh, that Smash Bros. stage really, really, really well. I think the Joker's still the play, so uh, hopefully we don't see any sort of switch. Three, yep. So far, uh, Sharp, even with the Zero Suit, um, he's just been opting to just go back to Pokemon Stadium 2. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, Ashton off to a hot start here, just putting down some good damage. Uh, Sharp just getting a very small 2% to answer back, but let's see if they can find anything else from there. Good patience from both players, actually. Definitely. It's like same thing we saw in the 
winner side said. They both know how to play such a patient neutral while at the same time capitalizing really hard when they do get that one hit. Mm -hmm. All right, not gonna be able to get a punish off that Nair. Both these players dancing around each other very carefully. Uh, Ashton doesn't want to get caught up in any of this uh, Arsene shenanigans, and uh, Sharp just does not want to get hit by any more projectiles. Uh, whoa, almost got hit by that boomerang. Probably would have led into a forward air. Definitely would have put Sharp in a bad spot. Yep. Oh, missing the tech, but Ashton isn't there to follow up. Still trying to get some use out of this Rebels guard, but hasn't really found that much success so far. Oh, wow. <laughs> Actually grabbing in between the hits of up smash. That's very brave because if you mess up, you're probably going to just die. <laughs> nice oh, tech wow. chase, but a little bit too slow. Yeah, that was a beautiful read. Just not going to be able to get anything off. Oh, once again. Oh, not going to be able to get anything once again. That's so unfortunate. Yeah. I think he might be able to drag, uh, jab block after he drags him down with forward air and they miss the tech. But doesn't even need it there. Gets the gun. Taking out that stock. Let's see though if he can get any type of extra credit. Very close to dying. Getting pressure at the ledge as well. Arsene's almost there. If he can just find a way to stay alive a little more, he could really make the rest of this stock count. He's got 25% on there right now. And there it there is. There it is. Arsene's gonna come into play. Yeah, now Ashton. I got I gotta say, like he he, he must not want to just get blown up by Arsene here. So he's probably just gonna hang back a little bit more. Not really try to force anything too hard. Mm -hmm. Shark's doing a really good job here, just applying some pressure, but Ashton also just being elusive. Gonna whip that up smash. Uh oh. Nice. And you know what? It doesn't matter if you weren't able to get the stock, you still get a lot of good extra credit on this. Yeah, definitely. Um. Getting almost 100 on a Arsene stock on your first one, you couldn't really ask for much outside of just file getting another stock, so it's fine yeah. for Sharp. <laughs> yeah, no, Sharp's doing really well. He's already about halfway through the bar for another Arsene. We'll have to see if Ashley can find a way to uh, really kind of dance around that. I mean, unless you can find a good way to gimp uh, Sharp pretty soon before he gets that, that Arsene is definitely going to be coming out and you're going to have to deal with it. Yep. Great read. Okay, catches the shield poke. Oh, wow, no punish on the ace. Tetracron. Yeah, but still, uh, Ashton, yeah, doing a great job of bringing this back. Oh, oh man, not able to get the Fort Air 1 up smash. Sharp trying to just, yeah, okay, <laughs> there it is. It always feels bad when you die to the very last sliver of Arsene after <laughs> you've been playing so hard to not get hit by it. Right. <laughs> Oh, Ooh, no, wow. not, not he's been so consistent with landing that. There it is. <laughs> After missing one, he was able to find it once again. Now we are on final stocks. Only 11% separating the two. Sharp's going to find a quick little opening right there, but Ashton's going to be able to get out nearly scot-free. Nice. Yeah, I'm surprised also, um, Sharpest isn't choosing to uh, commit to the Rebels Guard on the projectiles as much as I expected. Oh. This is definitely a weird Tech one. Chase? Oh, that was a good read. Just not able to convert on it. That's so unfortunate. But got that pressure going on. Ashton's going to be able to find a way to weasel out. Yeah, Ashton, his uh, main goal is to just take the little hits he can, but... Just try to wait out Arsene as long as he possibly can. Still though, taking quite a bit of percent here. Gets the shield poke. Doesn't follow the DI out from Sharp. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh wait, there? Okay. I don't know if that was intentional. I don't think it was. That was definitely the stock. I feel like that's twice now Ashton has dropped that. Oh. Not able to catch the tech roll in, but still keeping Sharp in a really rough position. Very close. A lot of things you can do will uh, lead to the stock here, I would say. But there is Arsene. Exactly what Sharp needs at this moment. Oh, oh there we go. 
big call out on the roll. Honestly, very instinctive thing to do when you're just getting pressured by Arsene back here like that at the ledge. You want to just roll it center stage, get some type of positioning back. But uh, man, Sharp with the hard call out. Really yeah, good that stuff. Was, um, that was crazy. That was such an intense moment at the end. I couldn't help but just sit here quietly. <laughs> just just waiting to see what was going to happen next. It's such a tough one for Young Link, too, because when you think about it, like, Young Link struggles to kill on a higher percent when he loses a lot of true confirms. And at that situation with how high percent Sharp was, it's only a matter of time until he got Big Brother, which is Arsene, and that makes things even worse for Ashton. So it was more of a battle of, like, how fast can he kill Joker before he gets his next Arsene? And if he doesn't do it within that time frame, which you saw the Zare, then he's literally losing a lot of luck. I wouldn't even say luck. He's just losing a lot more in that situation. Yeah. Kind of rough, too, that Ashton um, had that kill, but in that missed input with the, the Zare actually cost him. But now we have Sharp here, again with the Joker. One game away from getting this reset to work out. Mm -hmm. Let's see if FD is the, uh, the stage that um, Ashton needs to bring us to game five. Oh, unfortunately, he's going to dash right into that hero spin. Well, I mean, it had good stuff from Ashton not being able to uh, take too much damage out of that. But still, Sharp was going to get a nice little bit of a combo going on. All right. There we go. That's the timing he needed to get into there. Nice. Waiting out the roll again. Ooh. Force the up Oh, too, too early with that back here. I like the idea though, just force him out of his jumps and then put him in a really rough spot off stage. Another He's opportunity really here for Nash Guard. Right Tetra Card here? Yeah. Yep. Even with the stall in the up B and trying to pull up the bomb, just it's so easy for Joker to deal with that low recovery. Yeah, good on Ash to actually stay on the Angel platform also to like bait out the Arsene leader to go down. Yeah, no, definitely, definitely a good idea. Um, and Arsene going to disappear right there, but still taking a little bit of extra credit so far and only 80% on that first stock. Uh, Ashton's got a lot of, a little bit of a work to uh, get going here. If he wants to find a way to take this stock without taking too much more damage, almost not making it back to stage there. Yeah, and Sharp playing super evasive here. See him going for the Fort Air 1 follow-ups as well. Nice, great positioning, covering the roll with the F-Tilt. Oh, wow. Beautiful uh, wall jump there into the boomerang. That was actually really nice. Yeah. Beautiful call. Oh, I'm not going to be enough. That's so crazy he lived that. Oh. So he got hit by the first part of Up Smash, fell out of the second part, and then got hit by the third part. Yeah. <laughs> Very unlucky. <laughs> Let's see what the option is here. Sharp with a very solid lead. Oh, not going to be able to space the forward smash well enough. Yeah, just inches away from getting the punish there. Good parry. Sharp is playing this very well right now. He is finding ways to chase down Ashton and force him into really awkward spots. And Ashton, fortunately, is just doing a good job not getting hit by anything. The hero spin right there going to get a little bit of a combo going. All right. Sticks in the back out of shield. Oh my goodness. Not yeah, enough young, to get the stock, but very yeah, close. Yeah, I was going to say, Young Link's um, hero spin has the highest high out of all three of them. Yeah, it, it, he's definitely pushing the uh, the limits here a couple, a little bit, though. Arsene coming out the play. We'll have to see if Sharp can find a way to close out the stock. Or if Ashen can... Never mind. I'm not even going to finish the rest of that sentence because I don't have the time to. Yeah. Tough call there because he went for the out of air out of shield. It would have been a normal good call, but with the positioning of where his Sharp was... He was able to just call it out altogether. Still, mm -hmm. opportunity here for Ashton. Ooh. And the bomb in play to counter it, too. That was smart from Ashton, even though it was a huge risk. Big good forward there. Going to be sending Sharp off stage. Sharp going to find a way back. See if he can get some more extra credit going. Nice. Tech Chase again, so good at calling out these rolls. Oh, nice. 
Sharp is doing such a good job of calling out these options that Ashton's gonna go for, and because Sharp is just forcing him into these weird, uh, weird approaches or, or descents or something like that, and like. And then again, also just shout outs to Ashton for finding new ways to get back to the stage repeatedly, but it doesn't matter there. Uh, Sharp gonna be able to get that up smash to close that out. And that'll hard be the reset. Out. That'll be the reset. Yeah. I really like that from Sharp, man. Once you're at that percent where you don't get a guaranteed follow up from down throw anymore, you can just nice. bait them to like air dodge so hard just because they're expecting you to swing out an aerial at that point, but. Yeah, sharp, super hard call out. Great punish on the air dodge. And uh, yeah, the Joker works out. Almost makes you wonder, like, man, what? why didn't he try Joker a single game in, in winners? Super good stuff from Sharp. Uh, definitely has got the momentum in his favor right now. He is looking to take this grand finals reset very, very soon as we, soon as we get started with it. Ashton, not looking bad, but definitely in a tough spot. Uh, Joker from Sharp is definitely looking really, really good. He's finding all sorts of ways to put Ashton in these weird positions, uh, forcing him to make options that he wouldn't want to, and then punishing them for even making those uh, <laughs> those options in, in general. Like, Sharp is just all over it. And the thing is, is like, Ashton's not even playing bad. He's just- No, no, Sh not at all. Sharp, Sharp is just on another level right now. It's it's really, it's really crazy. It's hard for me to like look at the matchup as a whole too, without like evaluating some of the, like the little nuances of like, oh, Young Link has to consistently work within a percentage range in which he can always get kills. But if you do that and you don't get your kills, uh, like I said it right earlier, if you don't get those kills at those percents, then you have to deal with Arsene even more. So it all depends on how Ashton can get his confirms before the more he has to deal with Arsene. I think he does a really good job of spacing himself, you know, away from Arsene, though. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. Here we go. We're going to be getting into game one of the true finals between Sharp and Ashton. Joker, going to stick with the Joker. I think it's a very good idea. And Ashton here, going to start on Smashville. This is the one stage that Ashton actually took a victory on in grand finals before the reset. Yeah, which was surprising because I uh, definitely think this is a really good Joker stage. Mm -hmm. At least more so than Young League, but Ashton really likes it. Okay, not going to get the guns to work this time, but again, really good at for Sharp. He's just baiting out these rolls really hard. Yeah, for sure. All right. Weird spot. Oh, okay. Gonna be able to get past that. Wow, great up special. Gonna be able to drag him right back down. 81% so far, but now Ashton gonna find that boomerang into that forward air, getting a little bit of something going. But Arsene is out to play. We'll have to see if Sharp can make this one count because this would give him a very, very good lead. <laughs> okay, okay, Sharp. Oh, okay, okay. No uh, overextension necessary there. Again able to take the first stock with a little sliver arson so he might be able to get like 20 percent on this stock before losing it oh <laughs> yeah you were wrong you were wrong you didn't get 20 percent <laughs> <laughs> very close literally 0.1 percent <laughs> that's that's so dumb i hate this game sometimes but yeah no very good call that that is 20 percent but uh yeah well uh, sharp uh kind of struggling a little bit here getting back to stage uh, ashton doing a really good job controlling it and controlling the pace right now gonna be able to get this stock maybe nope. no sharp nope. is gonna be able to live our sin is coming very soon though mm -hmm. it's right around the corner unless ashton can find a way to take this stock not gonna get that fire uh arrow i really like how uh liberal he is with using the guns off stage versus young link because his mm -hmm. recovery arc is very linear and if you get sniped out of that with no jump it's just such an easy edge guard for him yeah great nair from ashton by the way okay ashton's doing nope. such a good job at getting rid of this rsn meter just finding all these stray projectiles and stray hits just kind of slowly bring it down and just waste time as sharp continues to fall off stage and there goes arsen yeah. Uh, one less thing to worry about, but a good little read from Sharp there puts Ashton in a bad spot. Man, every roll from ledge is just getting caught. But there's a down air. Catching Sharp dashing away. Maybe thought he had enough time to whiff punish it, but just a little bit too close. Big 
punish right here. Oh, no big punish. Just gonna jump right out of it. Okay. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Very tense situation here. Ashton is definitely dancing back and forth across the stage as Sharp is trying to chase him down. Arsene almost coming back into play here. Uh, Ashton's got to be very careful. Going to make it back to the ledge, no problem. Ooh, another forward air. Man, it's been really difficult for Sharp to find the offstage back air to close yeah, up the stock. Has. That's just... Oh, wow. Nice up smash out of shield yet again. But, uh, yeah, a lot of it just a tribute to how well Ashton is recovering versus Joker most of the time. Still though, uh, Sharp finding that stock, hanging on to this lead. I'm gonna try to really, oh my goodness. Yeah, really get as much for staying with Arsene as he can. Yeah. Exactly what he wanted. I wish you said 40% because it stopped at 40.1. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> but yeah, no, Sharp doing a very good job here, getting some good damage. And now Ashton on the offensive has got Sharp off stage once again. See if they can make it count. Sharp's going to find a way back onto nice. the back here. Forward throw to see if they're going to use those the guns. guns out. That's what you want. Every That's time you're going low, you're just in danger of being shot up all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Great. no, good stuff, man. Sharp is uh, looking pretty good in this game. Uh, we'll see if he can continue this momentum to take that game two, potentially game three. I think finishing this set off with a with a 3-0 would honestly be a really good exclamation mark. But hopefully Ashton has a little more, uh, bit, uh, wow, excuse me, a little more gas left in the tank because uh, they're playing really good. It'd be a real shame for see, uh, to see them go out so quickly. Yeah, um, the Joker pick is just really hasn't, I don't think Ashton has really found an answer for it, honestly. Yeah. And the other thing is, is that maybe there's just that little bit of mental damage too, because uh, we basically started off this set on Smashville, which is the only stage that Ashton was able to find a win on. So basically, it's just kind of like, hey, we'll go back here, and then I'm going to beat you on it, and then we're going to move on with the rest of this bracket. So let's see if Ashton can uh, get past that and not think about it too much. Uh, right now, they're looking kind of okay, getting a quick little 15%. Uh, not getting too caught up in any of Sharp's business right now, but again, we're only like 10 seconds into the match, so... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, especially with Arsene as a factor, the match can swing so easily. Mm -hmm. And there's Arsene. All right, gonna get a nair into the dash attack there, putting on a good little 20% or so. Watch the landing. Yeah, Ar uh, Ashton's main plan when Arsene comes out. Oh my God, he almost died. Yeah, it, yeah, it's just really good read. not even really focused on landing hits per se but just try to keep them stationary long enough for him to waste out the meter oh my goodness so that angle he chose was only it was only good in the fact that he was able to avoid dying the back air but he still put himself in a position where he can recover without a bomb and like the situation that he put him in the, into there he had arson out right got the uh, i think the up throw and actually just let Ashton land. Just wanted to see what option he was going to make. Uh, Ashton, I think, air dodged in. So Sharp just let it go, re-grabbed him, and then did another up throw to a forward air. And that's what put Ashton in that position. Sharp is just all over him, uh, doing a, such a great job of just like, hey, I'm going to go do this, and then just doing nothing at all just to see how Ashton reacts. And then punishing yep. him off that, it's it's actually really insane how Sharp is playing. But Ashton going to be able to find that stock back. And now going on a little bit of a tear trying to even things up. All right, let's see if there's a shift in how Ashton's going to play against Arsen. Because he's able to make all this work just from really trying to play aggressive and, you know, capitalize on his opening as much as possible. We're seeing that right now, though. Not really letting Sharp abuse the Arsen as much while still racking up the percent he can. Okay. Great Nair to get back to the ledge. Mm -hmm. Dash attack going to send Ashton back off, though. Ooh. Wow, that was such a great parry and punish. Nice. Seeing him stuck in shield for a little bit too long. Reverse up B, not enough to get the kill, but no, no. still not enough. <laughs> Amazing. 
Sarb but just will not die. Continues to be a problem for Ashton. Oh, okay. I thought we were about to see something crazy, but it doesn't matter. The forward air going to come out right there as Ashton takes a lead, but 130%. Sharp could easily even this up very quickly. For sure. There's the bomb, though. Nice catch, man. Ashton keeps rolling off the ledge, out of the ledge every time he gets back out on shield. And, and Sharp just knows, ready for the up smash every time. The options that Sharp is taking after landing some hits, like when you think that, like, there's been a couple times he's landed uh, down tilt, and I would assume that he would go up into an up air immediately, and instead he just dashes forward just to see what Ashton's going to do. He's been doing this all night, and it's actually really crazy. Um, just the way that he thinks about this character and the way that he's kind of, like, conditioning Ashton to play a way that he wants him to play. Yeah, for sure. Luckily, though, for Ashton... Um, wait, hold on. Wait, wait, what? Huh? What happened? <laughs> what? I'm watching the stream. Forward air, okay, boomerang. Did he think he would, like, air dodge into the ledge? Oh, okay, so, yeah, I, I think he was, uh, I thought, he, I think he thought he was close enough to air dodging to the, to the ledge, it looked like, and unfortunately just not gonna be able to get it. That's actually really, uh, upsetting. Um, oof. That's rough. That That is a rough one to, to deal with because now you're down 2-0 against Sharp. And Sharp's already got really good momentum behind him right now. And uh, ugh, it looks like we're going to be running it right back to Kalos, though. Right, right. I, I mean, I don't blame him to run it back to the stage. He was doing such a good job. It's just that SD really, really unfortunate. All right. Well... Ashton in position now where he has to make the reverse 3 0 happen here. Let's see what he can do. All right. All right. Good start so far from Ashton, having a little bit of a lead. Uh, but still, Sharp's going to be answering back really, really quick. Good yeah. stuff from Ashton. Ars Ashton's just been dealing with Arson really well for the most part. Again, no, you're absolutely it. correct. Yeah, it, I also like the recovery there as well. Just kind of like delayed a little bit to where he can't do a free Tetra car and he can't just go off stage and hit him really easily. Oh my goodness. Rolling, going into the fully charged arrow and now Arsene's gone. Nope. Ooh, definitely went for a very good read right there. Oh, wow. the guns. <laughs> The gun caught him already buffering the upbeat. Probably wasn't expecting to get hit there. But I Yeah, the Fort Air immediately even things up. Yeah, I think um I think part of the reason why he took went to Kalos is because like he's got you got those platforms above you, so you have to be a lot more precise in that input if you're gonna try and guns them. Uh, get those guns going off stage. Um, and it also just kind of gives him a wall for that little extra added uh, recover uh, ability. So, I mean, it's, 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 it's a pretty solid stage for Ashton right now. Um, but he, he's doing pretty well in this game. But again, Sharp is on the offensive. Not going to be able to keep him off. Okay, never mind. Going to knock him back off stage. We'll see how Ashton can answer back. Yeah, very, very scary position right now. If I'm Ashton, I would just try to focus on staying alive and, you know, weighing out the Arson. At least if he gets hit while he doesn't have Arson, he won't die immediately okay saved his double jump there so he didn't just die to the guns again oh okay. no opportunity to get the follow-up he's looking for luckily kyle's ceiling is relatively high so he's not gonna die the up smash but nice combo oh Ooh, still not enough win. oh man and he got our sin so now ashton's gotta be so careful yeah, he's definitely got to be. Ooh. Oh, 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 sharp. Dude, that was insane. He got that parry on the second hit or the first hit and then yeah. into the up smash. That, that was, was insane. So good. Okay, missing the tech. So allows him to get that dash tech in there. Only taking 24. Not too bad. Yeah, just one good string from Young League. Can definitely take the lead back. 
And here we go. Potentially Ashton's final stock of the tournament, unless he can find a way to take this game. Sharp is going on the offensive here. Going to get a good little 60%, but Ashton can't answer back quick. Arsene is right there, though, too. That's, that's something that's going to be a big factor very soon. Okay, I like the ledge jump there. Sharp was trying to see if he can bait him to roll from ledge again, but missing the grab. Ooh. You don't want it with a grab versus Arsene at this percent. Every so many things can kill. A good up air. Yeah. The Arsene meter is getting yeah, low. It's getting melted right now. Oh, okay. Sharp. Oh, All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> you know, Ashton, is he not going to get the kill? Oh, yeah, Ashton definitely could have gotten the kill there, though, on that after he was charging, but it's fine. He played it safe, and the down tilt actually catching him off the ledge. I had no more ledge invincibility at that percent, but uh, wow, I didn't I didn't even know Downsville can scoop the ledge like that. Uh, yeah, man, uh, I guess so. Ashton showing that he has a little bit of life left in him. Let's see if he can continue this into a game four. Uh, definitely looked very grim for a little bit, but you know what? This kid's got some fight. <laughs> yeah. So I think the record now in these uh, grand finals so far is. Five, two. He won one set. Uh, he yeah, won. it's five, five, two total right now. Yeah. All right, but we're gonna be getting into our game four again, once again. It is do or die for Ashton here. You cannot afford to drop any more games, and not only that, but you are on Sharp's counter pick. And even if you win this one, you have one more counter pick from Sharp to deal with. So you better make yeah. sure you're on your A game because Sharp is going where he wants to go. Exactly. Yeah. If if Ashton's able to win this one, it would have been from him just really outplaying Sharp. Ooh. So let's see what he can do. Again, always. Uh oh, he double jumped in a really bad spot, but it's okay. Goes low. Luckily for him, uh, Sharp didn't seem keen on using the Tetra card on that uh, B. Hello? Yeah, I, I don't blame him letting the RCNF smash fly like that. If he lands in a bad spot, it, it's gonna kill. <laughs> Move is insanely strong. Yep. Right now, yep. Sharp definitely on a good tear right now, building up a lot of damage. And we're going to see Ashton oh, make that bomb. return. Yep. yep. Got the bomb recovery. Oh, a little bit too slow at the grab. Both these players are playing so patient, so carefully, and very on point right now. <laughs> uh, Sharp going to find that up smash. Yeah, big anti air of smash. Think baiting Ashton to think he's safe to jump and then just punishing him immediately. All right, good stuff. Good little call out right there. Gonna get that jump. Uh, Sharp continuing to put on the pressure and the damage right. here. About to lap him in percentage. Ashton doing a good job finding his way back to stage though. Oh my goodness, getting the rebels guard oh, exactly no. when he needed. Arsene's here to play. Tetracarn here. Nothing you can do. But he does have the bomb to save him. No, not enough. No, he the still bomb, had no the, bomb, the bomb blew up right when he went down and then he countered it. Oh my goodness. That was really smart from Sharp. Yeah, uh, Sharp is ax ax absolutely on a tear right now. Uh, this is definitely bad news for Ashton. He's going to have to find a way to turn something on quick. He's got to find another gear or else this is the end of the tournament and Sharp will be the champion for MSM Online 22. Continue to apply a lot of pressure on the platform here as well. A B, not guaranteed oh, no. up there there. Oh, the guns once again, force the B. Yep. Right, he's going to be able to play the stage. Nope, Ooh. no downer either. Oh my wow. god. <laughs> that gun was sick, actually. That gun that was, was so sick. So good. <laughs> he, did, he still died for it, but like that was yeah. so good. Yeah, that was, it was a very good gun. But yeah, I mean, that's the thing is like Sharp still has a whole fresh second stock here. Um, and Ashton's 82% final stock, like. Uh, this is going to be very tough to deal with. The guns oh, aren't actually going to be able to goodness. do it. Gun, down gun, the real MVP. Sharp getting at least four kills with that move alone off stage. And uh, that, that's it. That's how it 
the cookie crumbles. Kind of anticlimactic, if I gotta be honest. But <laughs> yeah, <laughs> great stuff to both players, regardless. Ashton, you know, keeping the set competitive, not going out, you know, six or anything like that. But great stuff to Sharp showing what he can do 